Hey guys, how's it going? This is a review for biochemistry. This is taking an hour and a half review session, condensing it to about 10 minutes. What I'm doing is I'm highlighting the elements that have been represented most on the prior released AP bio exams. So enjoy. So the first thing we're going over is the organization of organic molecules. Now one thing that these organic molecules have is what names them as organic is that they have carbon and hydrogen in some fixed ratio. So you can see the carbohydrate has carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen in a one to two to one ratio. It is either structural, such as cellulose in a cell wall, or chitin on insect exoskeleton, or storage, which could be starch in a plant, or for an animal, it's going to be glycogen. Now for proteins, also have carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, but it also has nitrogen. Nitrogen is the amino group in an amino acid. Now the nucleic acids are going to have nitrogenous, uh, nitrogenous in a nucleic acid um, in DNT, C, or G. And then it's also going to be a phosphate. So the phosphate is going to link the sugar with phosphate. So it's lipids are in a class of their own. The group of lipids means that they are not going to dissolve readily in water. They are going to be hydrophobic. They are going to have long chains of carbon. Examples of lipids are phospholipids. They are going to uh, steroids, even steroid hormone. Another example of lipids is a triglyceride. The next thing you should really understand is how radioisotopes actually work. So radioisotopes are naturally occurring elements that are incorporated in an organism and they emit radioactivity, E32, which means that it is going to emit a high energy particle and the organism generally is either grown or subject in conditions normally in which it's going to incorporate it. And then you can see where it goes, detect it. And it's a classic experiment, Hershey and Chase, where they tried to look at um, the DNA versus the protein in a phage. And you can use S. 35 to trace the protein. Okay, so know your protein structure. One of the most important things to remember for uh, for the top for this topic in biochemistry. Keep in mind that every single level in this is actually going to include the previous level. Primary structure is simply a string of amino acids they are held together by peptide bonds. The secondary structure is when these primary structures start exhibiting two forms. Alpha helical loop and you can have these beta pleated sheets. You guys remember what bonds are in there? Very good. Hydrogen bonds. Hydrogen bonds are, and keep in mind this is not unique structure for a particular protein. A lot of proteins exhibit this. It doesn't make it special in any way. The uniqueness for a protein is in the tertiary structure. It forms its unique 3D structure. The alpha helical loops and the beta pleated sheets are going to fold in upon itself. A very unique folding. On the inside, see hydrophobic interactions. If it's particularly if this protein is dissolved in water, you're going to see additional hydrogen bonds. You're also going to see ionic bonds which is simply the attraction of positive and negative um, ions with, that are formed within the molecule. And you're going to see some other stuff like van der Waals forces. Also, in the tertiary, we are going to see something called disulfide bridges. And in the quaternary structure, uh, this is simply two or more tertiary units. Based on the unique order of the amino acid are going to actually determine how it folds. Which brings us to one of your favorite molecules, hemoglobin. Okay. Hemoglobin is one of the main examples <laughs> that comes up time to time. Each one of these are called a heme group with iron in the center. Now sickle cell anemia is a mutation in just one amino acid in this hemoglobin molecule. Whenever I go over this, the initial point of confusion is that the actual hemoglobin changes shape 
Therefore, that is the red blood cell that changes shape. Hemoglobin actually sticks together in these polymers. In turn, if a normal red blood cell looks like this, in turn causes the red blood cell to become sickle shaped. Mutation in primary structure of the protein, which is seen in the folding of the tertiary structure and the quaternary structure of the protein, and that's going to cause anemia and pain and things like that. The next thing that has come up, a famous scientist, Fury, did an experiment where they tried to mimic early Earth. Now, early Earth, no oxygen present. So, what was present? Well, there was a lot of inorganic molecules, such as methane. There was carbon dioxide. There was water. There was sulfoxide and hydrogen sulfide. There was um, ammonia, okay? Boiled all of this in a flask. And then what he did was he allowed it to circulate, cool, came around, and then when it boiled again, added electricity, simulate lightning. And on the bottom, he had this trap in which he create life? No, but they were able to create more complex organic molecules, more carbohydrates, um, simple precursors to RNA and simple uh, forms of simple amino acids. So by understanding the concept here that they were mimicking early Earth and were able to create the precursors of life. So enzyme active site, okay. The part that fits into the enzyme is called the sub. Okay. So it looks like it's going to fit right in there. Boom. Fits right in there. When this forms, this is called the enzyme substrate complex. A lot of the diagrams don't show this, but what you should know is that it actually wraps around the enzyme a little bit. This is called the induced fit model. You are responsible to know things that are going to regulate enzyme activity. So if we go back the substrate from fitting into the active site. So number one is a competitive inhibitor is going to mimic the shape striped and if it beats out uh, the regular substrate it's going to actually block the substrate from going in. Now with a competitive inhibitor it actually can be rescued, the effect of the substrate, if you increase the concentration of the substrate. If you have more substrate it will more often than the non-competitive inhibitor fit. Another type of inhibitor is going to be the non-competitive inhibitor is actually going to find a site called the allosteric site is a binding site for something that is not going to fit into the, the active site. So this right here is a non-competitive inhibitor. If this bonds to the allosteric site, it will actually change the shape of the enzyme, give it a different conformation, and therefore the substrate literally does not fit into the active site. So in the case of the non-competitive inhibitor, it doesn't matter how much substrate you add. You can, when we talk about the idea of enzyme reactions, very often we're going to talk about the rate of the reaction. Well, keep in mind what rate means. Rate means slow. If we want to measure the rate of enzyme activity, we could look at it over. And one way to measure an enzyme activity is the product form. What the enzyme is doing when it forms the product, you could also think of it as a substrate that is being broken down. What initially may look like it's increasing, and then after a while, it's going to level off. The reason why it levels off is because on all the substrate, it did its job, made the product, okay, so that's why it approaches a flat line. So Gibbs free energy is going to look at the energy state over the course of a reaction. So I like to think of it as available energy because it's energy that can be used. Enzyme is going to lower energy needed to put into the reaction. One thing to keep in mind, this is what's known as delta J. It's the same whether or not there's an enzyme and whether or not there's no enzyme. All right, just got done editing this thing and got it from an hour and a half. It was tough, but less than 10 minutes now. Tried to reduce the choppiness, but hey, doing my best here, people. Now, if you liked what you saw, let me know. If there's comments that maybe you want to go over something next time, let me know. But until then, I'll see you at the next AP Bio review session.